hello everyone welcome back to a new video this week is another vlog and i have a very exciting trip coming up in this video which i will tell you more about later but it is wednesday today and i'm starting this vlog a bit later in the week because honestly this week has been so manic and i'm not complaining because it's so good to be busy work is going really well but i haven't really had time to chat to the vlog yesterday was tuesday and i had such a lovely day in london i had quite a few things going on and i was only there for a short time so i really packed everything in to a few hours i started off in and other stories and i went in store and i go into the regent street store every month to have a look at the new in pieces try some bits on and I get to take home a few pieces that I've picked out and I absolutely love it. I love shopping in store, especially in and other stories. I feel like their stores are so underrated. They are just so beautiful. So I tried on quite a few bits. Firstly was this stripy tan and black dress. Oh my God, it was so beautiful. I think I'm gonna have to order it online because they didn't have my size in store and it just fit like a glove and although a print is a little bit different for me i just loved it then i tried on another dress which was a khaki like button-up shirt dress i loved it but i didn't know if it was super flattering on me so i wasn't 100 percent sure on that one i also tried on a wool button-up top and that was so beautiful i absolutely loved that i also loved the shirt that i tried on which i feel like these clips just really don't do it justice but it's so beautiful and then i tried on a bomber jacket which i fell in love with so i did in fact come home with the bomber jacket and i've already worn it today and i'm so in love with it my mum isn't like a huge lover of things like this and i saw her this morning and she was like oh my god that jacket is so nice so you know it's a good one when your mum likes it but i am so obsessed with it i think because it's cream and satin it just has that really cool vibe to it i am so in love i got it in a size extra small because it's already quite big and i although i like an oversized jacket i thought um a small would just be way too much fabric but i'm in love with it i absolutely love it i cannot wait to style this up it's got huge pockets as well and they're kind of like a flap pocket so these are great for walks especially if you have a dog actually although it may get a bit muddy but you could fit so much in these pockets like i can literally fit a whole diet coke in one pocket so yeah i'm obsessed with this i absolutely love it i will link all the pieces that i tried on down below as well in case you want to have a look at them yourself and then i also got some other bits so obviously i couldn't leave the shirt it was absolutely stunning and i don't have anything like this in my wardrobe and i thought it would go so nicely with my new leather trousers so this is the shirt in a bit of a better light it's this gorgeous kind of khaki brown really muted shade the fabric is almost like a wool cotton it's so thick and lovely and the best detail is that it really cinches in at the waist and i just loved the silhouette I just think it is so gorgeous so i also picked up that i got this in a size 34 i probably would have got a 32 but again they didn't have it and i really wanted to take this home for my trip at the end of the week so i decided a 34 will be fine it's not too much of a difference for a shirt and then i picked up a couple of random bits but actually were on my list of things that i wanted to get so firstly it's just a basic slightly baggy long sleeve top and I wanted a white one in particular because when I do Pilates in the morning, which by the way, I've gotten such good routine with, I sometimes don't really want to wear a sweatshirt because it's too hot. And I don't really want to wear just a sports bra or like a tank top because I'm too cold. So I needed something like in the middle that would be really comfy. I can just chuck on with leggings. And I just thought a baggy long sleeve top would be so perfect these basic tops from and other stories are just such good quality if you're looking to invest a little bit more than usual in a basic i 100 percent recommend they also do t-shirts which i love they're organic cottons so they're really soft i got this in a size small and it was 29 pounds which i do think is probably a little bit more expensive for a basic from the high street but you get what you pay for the quality is just insane so soft i probably will wear this with 
um, joggers and stuff at home as well. And then lastly, I picked up a hand cream. These hand creams are so good. I love the size, they're so mini, they fit in your handbag. And I always have a hand cream like in my bedside table, my handbag, my car, especially because my cuticles get quite dry. And in the car, I've noticed my hands feel so dry because I have the um, heaters on my hands because my hands get really cold. Um, and I've had this before and the scent is incredible. It's called Perle de Coco. It's like a coconutty, vanilla -y scent and it's so beautiful. So I picked that up as well. And then after And Other Stories, I went to Jo Malone. Me and Georgia were invited together to go to the Jo Malone counter in Selfridges to experience the limited edition rose collection, which is made up of three rose fragrances, ranging from like a fresh cut garden rose scent to a, the rose blush, which is a little bit more of a muskier rose. And then you've got the rose and vanilla, which is a really lovely, sweet, feminine scent. We also had a hand and arm massage and oh my God, it was unreal. I kept trying to film a time lapse, but we were sat on the counter all next to each other. It was so lovely. I sat next to Liv and Georgia and we had such a good chat, but I just couldn't film it. So I'm sorry I didn't film much of that, but I did take home a little goodie bag. Um, jo Malone kindly gave us the fragrance of our choice that we loved. So I thought I would unbox it and show you which one I picked. Jo Malone packaging is just so beautiful. So I picked the Rose Blush. I absolutely loved it. And it really reminded me of an old rose fragrance that I have from Jo Malone. And I love it and it's run out. So I'm very pleased to have this. I think it's gonna be my new spring scent. So we got a little gift box with a candle and the fragrance. Just so beautiful. I mean, how stunning is that for spring? Literally in love with that. And it just smells, oh, so unreal. So this is gonna be my spring scent for sure. I literally am obsessed. I'm gonna link it below because it is available online now and in stores and I love it. And then after Jo Malone, me and Georgia just went for a little bit of lunch. We went up to Brasserie of Light and I had, I think it was like pan roasted salmon with cauliflower couscous and oh my god it was unreal and we had a lovely catch up. Um, we both had to get home for work so it was a very quick London trip for me. I was straight back on the train at like 2 o'clock, I was home by 4 and back working ready for today. Because today I had a huge client shoot, um, 12 products, 2 videos and 8 images I had to shoot today on location so I needed to get everything sorted, the brief all like written up, cameras charged, products all sorted and ready, outfits planned, I think I did eight outfits, car packed up, I had to get myself ready because I was modeling, so I had to do like a full tan, hair oil, all the works. Um, and I woke up feeling absolutely amazing actually. But another thing I wanted to show you was I treated myself to something that I have had on my wish list for a good few months now from Celine, which I am so excited about. I love Celine. It's probably my favorite luxury brand of all time. I just think it's so stunning and everything about it I love. It's simplistic, but it has that luxury high-end feel in just such a gorgeous way. So you will know that I already have the tan Celine belt. And I wanted to get a new black belt that I could wear every single day with all my outfits. I can wear it over coats, blazers, I can wear it with shorts, dresses, everything. Um, but was a little bit more understated. And I decided to treat myself to a new Celine belt. Merry late Christmas to me and early Valentine's Day. <laughs> so I got the small Celine Triumph belt in black. I haven't worn it yet, I'm just showing you it straight out the box, but oh, I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous, and this size is perfect. It's so much smaller than my thick one, actually. The, the buckle on my thick one is probably like this much bigger, which I love, the tan belt I love, and I love that it's a little bit thicker because I feel like with tan, you want it to make more of a statement, um, but 
for black. I just wanted something that was a little bit smaller. So I usually get my belts from Celine in a size 70. Um, but they didn't have a 70, they only had a 75. So you can, I mean, I am wearing three layers under this, but you can see like this is the 75. Um, so there is a little bit of room. I probably will get another hole punch just so if I'm wearing a dress and I want it like really tight and it's quite a slim dress, I could wear it around my waist and it will fit really nicely. But a 75 is absolutely fine for now, especially when I'm wearing about five layers. <laughs> I've got a vest on and this really chunky jumper. <laughs> but, oh my God, I just, I mean, obviously not with this outfit, but just to give you an idea, I am obsessed with it. I absolutely love it. So I will be wearing this a lot. And I think I'm gonna do a styling video showing you like how I style the Celine belt because it's such a good investment accessory. I just feel like with a belt, it has so much longevity to it and investing a few hundred pounds in a luxury accessory is very much my style. I like to rewear my wardrobe and then save my money and invest it into one thing that's gonna go with my whole wardrobe. So anyway, that was my little haul from yesterday. Today has been very productive. I finished my client shoot. I've edited it all, it's currently uploading, ready to send over, and I've also shot another campaign as well today, which has been really good. So while that is uploading, I am going to get myself prepped for my trip tomorrow. We are leaving super early. I think I am leaving home about quarter past six tomorrow, so I wanna be completely ready, packed, so I can just wake up, put some clothes on, wash my face, brush my teeth, and get in the car and go. Um, we are traveling to Harrogate, which is why we are leaving early because it's gonna take us about four and a half hours to get there. And I'm so excited because I'm taking my mum to Reading Park, which is the most beautiful spa hotel in Harrogate. I absolutely love it. I went there with Astrid and Mew back in November to shoot their Christmas campaign. And I just fell in love with the hotel. So I was chatting to the marketing manager, Robin, when I was there and she was saying, we'd love to have you back. And I've been kind of chatting with her on and off over the last few months, trying to get a date secured. And we finally got one. And I'm so excited because I'm taking my mum. So this trip is a press trip. They are kindly inviting me to go along. We have a very relaxing itinerary of spa treatments, full use of the entire spa for our entire stay, which I just absolutely love. And also a gorgeous dinner. So I'm going to bring you along with me. Me and my mum are just going to have the nicest relaxing couple of days and I can't wait to take her because honestly if you knew what my mum has been through the last two years oh I could actually cry saying that <laughs> I'm such a wet wipe yeah she has been what's the saying she's been through the mill is that the saying anyway she's had a really tough couple of years so this is exactly what she needs and I'm so excited to be spending the next couple of days with her and obviously bringing you guys along and showing you what we get up to. So yeah, I need to pack my suitcase. I need to plan my outfits. We are going to be literally just living in the spa and I cannot wait. I love a spa so much. So yeah, I need to pack my bits. I actually ordered myself a swimsuit because I don't really own a swimsuit. I have done in the past, but I don't know about you guys, but with swimsuits, I find that they really need to be the right size and the right material. Otherwise, I just absolutely detest how I look in them. Um, so, I treated myself to a Hunza G swimsuit. A lot of treating in this video. So, I need to try this on, make sure it looks nice, and then pack my suitcase. I'm also absolutely boiling after um, talking all that much. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking and I will chat to you later. Thursday today and 
We have just arrived at Reading Park Hotel in Harrogate. I am so excited to be here again. I literally love this hotel, it's so beautiful. So we've just been taken to our room, we've just got here, it's about 12.30. So I thought I would give you a tour of the room before we get on with anything else because our room is absolutely stunning. Okay, so I'm just standing at the main door. Should I come out? <laughs> no, it's okay. And then on the right is the bathroom. And this is the roll top bath. And these gold tiles are literally insane. I feel like they come up so much nicer on camera, actually. You can really see the gold. They're insane. Very luxurious with a roll top bath. I think, Mum, I think you should have a nice bath. Later, you love a bath. Um, and then we have a huge shower. Also, we are fully stocked with Molten Brown products, which is so lovely. I love Molten Brown. Gigantic mirror, lighting, which is so good for getting ready, huge sink. Just so gorgeous. This bathroom is absolutely massive. And then after the bathroom, we have the tea and coffee section. This is definitely mum's morning favourite, the Nespresso machine. <laughs> um, yeah, little mini bar, we've got some ginger biscuits. I think me and Georgia ate those before and they were really nice. Georgia definitely had all the tea because she's obsessed with tea. Fridge, I wonder if there's anything in the fridge. Oh yeah, fully stocked. We've got water, Diet Cokes, and then a little mirror as well. And then this is the main bedroom. So we've got a twin bed and then we have a wardrobe, dressing gowns and slippers already. The wardrobe is absolutely huge. If you were staying here for a week, you could easily fit so many clothes in there. Another full length mirror. One thing I would say is I slept so well when I came here with Georgia. Oh my God, I had the best night's sleep I think I've ever had in a hotel. The bed was so, so comfortable, so I'm very excited about that. So I love the really fun um, artwork and headboard in here. I feel like in a hotel, it's so nice to have things that you wouldn't necessarily choose for your own house, but that you can like really appreciate. I absolutely love that print. That is so cool. I definitely would have got that when I was younger because I was obsessed with pink. Um, and then we have a little seating area here and then a desk and a sofa and a TV. This room is absolutely huge. Also have a garden, which is so gorgeous. So if it was a really sunny day in the summer, you could easily sit out here, have a glass of wine. So lovely. And I also have just spotted that I've been left a little note, which I'm guessing is from Robin from the team at Reading Park. So I'm gonna open this. And we've also got a bottle of Prosecco, which is so lovely. Um, look how nice that branding is. Wow, I really like that. That's very cool. The plan now is to go to the spa, I think. Yes. So we're gonna... The best thing about um, staying in the hotel when you go to the spa is that you can leave all your stuff here and literally just put your swimming costume and your dressing gown and slippers and just walk to the spa. It's so great. That's good. So I think we're gonna go to the spa now. And I want to give mum a tour of the spa because it's unreal. It's so nice. Um, and then we're just going to relax, have a drink, chill, enjoy the spa. And then we've got a treatment at 3.30. Why are you cracking up laughing? I thought you were talking to me. Well, I kind of am talking to you. <laughs> so I'm going to get my swimsuit on. I haven't tried on the Hansa G swimsuit yet, so let's hope it looks all right. Um, it's one size and it's stretchy, so I think it should be fine. Okay, we're all ready to go to the spa. I've got my dressing gown on and my slippers. And I thought I would show you the swimsuit that I'm wearing. This is the Hunza G um, swimsuit in the cream, creamy pinky colour. I absolutely love it. I feel like it's much more flattering than a normal swimsuit because of the ruching. And I really don't like this area. So I find when they're really high, I just absolutely hate that. But this feels a lot more... Um, I don't know, like a lot more secure, a lot more flattering, a lot more suitable for like a spa. So yeah, I absolutely love this. I feel like it's not really coming up that well on camera because um, the lighting's not great, but yeah, very pleased. So we are all dressed and ready to go to the spa. Mummy's looking lovely. 
in her little swimsuit. <laughs> that Jessica makes you look tiny, I am like tiny. a little fairy. <laughs> goodness we have had the most perfect day like honestly it's been so relaxing I feel so zen and calm right now it's unbelievable we went in the spa pretty much all afternoon after we got here we went down to the spa as I said we enjoyed the spa all the facilities we went in the steam rooms the hot tub, the pool, we had some Prosecco. It was just a dream. And then we had our treatment, which was a 60 minute full body scrub and a neck and shoulder and head massage. Oh my God, it was incredible. So relaxing. I literally was just laying there like, oh my God, I could fall asleep. It was incredible. And the body polish that they did was so invigorating and like rough which sounds really horrible but i love that it literally felt like all the fluid in my body was just draining and all my skin was just fresh and clean like all the dead skin felt like it had gone and i was laying on my front and she was really going in on the back of my legs and i was like oh this is amazing so yeah literally loved it so much it was incredible and then we just went down to the sauna and just went in the sauna for about 20 minutes just to kind of warm up a little bit because we felt a bit chilly and then we came back to the room and we've just had showers we let our um body oils on our skins just like marinate and do all the good stuff and i've just had a shower to clean my hair and just to kind of freshen up a little bit my skin is feeling quite dry i think it's just because of the like hot to cold situation with like steam rooms and then going outside and saunas and everything so i've just lathered on some hyaluronic acid the l'oreal revitalift one which i'm loving at the minute some radiant reveal brightening serum from rose inc and then i'm just going to lock all of that in with my honest beauty everyday moisturizer with vitamin c So we have got um, dinner tonight at the Horto restaurant, which is next to the spa. And we are actually having a six course tasting menu, which is gonna be really incredible. So I love a tasting menu because the portions are quite small, but you get to try everything in the menu, which I love. I love being able to try like little bits of everything. So very excited about that. I'm really looking forward to a yummy, healthy dinner I'm just gonna do really simple almost like everyday makeup i don't want to go heavy i just want to be like quite nice and light just a little bit of coverage a little bit of blush and some mascara and that will be fine my skin is actually really loving me at the moment i think just because i'm using so many hydrating products and i've also introduced the skin and me um, my unique blend of like acids and stuff so I'm probably on week two now and I have noticed that my skin has kind of been purging a little bit and I've had a few like really really tiny breakouts so that makes me think it's doing its thing so I'm very excited to get to the end of my experience with skin and me of this bottle and actually see how my skin has been but yeah, it just feels so hydrated. I actually feel incredible. I think after this dinner, I am going to sleep like an absolute baby, which is just the perfect way to enter the weekend. Yeah, I'm going to do my makeup and do my hair because my hair is looking 
a bit of a hot mess. Also got the TV on in the background, so I'm gonna pop that on. I never watch TV, so such a treat when you come to a hotel and put like the normal TV channels on. And yeah, I will see you when I'm all ready and I'll show you what I'm wearing tonight. Okay, I am all ready. I'm just in the bathroom uh, because the lighting is really nice in here, but I'm gonna show you my outfit. So I am wearing, let me put you down a little bit so you can see. I am wearing this shirt from And Other Stories, which honestly is so beautiful. I've just tucked it in to my leather trousers. These are my mango leather trousers, which I love. They are like the khaki green color. Then I popped on my new Celine belt. This is in the size small. And I'm also wearing my Dior heels. Um, so we've got black accessories. I've also got my Chloe Mini C. And it's a little bit tricky to show you, but yeah, this is the look of the evening. So we are going to head down to the old side of the hotel, have a look at the rooms i just want to show my mum around really um there's like this incredible staircase where i shot some images for astrid and Mew in like a gold ball gown it was incredible um and we can also maybe go to the bar have a drink just relax before dinner we've got dinner at eight o'clock and it is 20 to 7 so we've got a little bit of time but yeah just gonna have a little wander around the hotel maybe sit by the fire which will be nice so yeah I know. I know. It's so pretty. Oh my god, look at that ceiling. That would be great for him. Oh, that's so cool. Probably not allowed in here. Oh my god. Ceiling rose. Oh my god. That is a dream. <gasps> okay, we are just at dinner now. I don't know if you can hear me because it's quite loud and there is music on. But we've had a drink at the bar and we are now at the Horto restaurant. We've got a six course tasting menu this evening and the menu looks incredible. So I'm gonna um, show you what is on the menu so you can see. morning everyone it's friday today and i had the best sleep ever i literally slept so deeply um i woke up at six and was just scrolling my phone waiting for mum to wake up and we are dressed and ready to go for breakfast i think we are going to go for breakfast first and then maybe go to the spa for a little bit i would quite like to go in the sauna and maybe like the pool then we are going to come back and get packed up and then i think we're going to go for a walk around the grounds before we go get some steps in get some fresh air and yeah and then we're gonna head back for the four and a half hour journey home but for breakfast this morning i am wearing my what the brand sweatshirt i haven't brought tons of clothes because i knew i just wanted to stay comfy the whole time apart from going for dinner last night so i've got my what the brand tracksuit on and my uggs ultra mini uggs and then um my new bomber jacket from and other stories just in case it is a bit chilly because the room that we're gonna have breakfast in it's kind of like a conservatory room, so I feel like it might be cold. Um, but yeah, this is my outfit for breakfast. Cashmere socks, very comfy. Um, it's very dark in here, I think, just because it's early. So yeah, we're going to head down for breakfast. I don't know what to have, actually. See what's on the menu.
Okay, we have just been in the spa for about an hour so far. Um, and we've just come outside, so I thought I would give you a little tour of the facilities on the rooftop. So you have a hot tub up here in like a little secluded area. We went in here yesterday and it was unbelievable. I think we'll probably go back in maybe. Um, so yeah, it's actually huge. And then some little sun lounges. Imagine in the summer when you come up here, I bet it's incredible. And then you've got the sauna, which is here, the cabin sauna. Um, we also went in here yesterday. That's where I took the photo for Instagram. Um, and then over here, it's just like literally all of the grounds and then the entrance to the main spa is back through there. Um, so yeah, imagine in the summer you can sunbathe here. I just think it would be absolutely incredible. Here is the sauna. I love all of this wood. It's really Scandinavian vibes. And then this room is um, like a relaxation room with LED lights and like heaters and stuff. Me and Georgia actually came in here. I think they've got massage beds as well. Yeah, it's like a LED room, I think. Um, and yeah, this is that's where the spa is down there. So you've got like the glass building, which has like the bar over here and then back over the other side is the pool um, and all the saunas and stuff in there. But this hotel is absolutely huge and I just really couldn't recommend it enough. I just think it's absolutely incredible. We've already been talking about coming back and saying that my brother would love it, my brother and his girlfriend would love it, Jack would love it. <laughs> so I think we definitely will be coming back again because it's just unreal. And yeah, it's in Harrogate. So if you were even looking to go somewhere for the weekend, I think it's such a nice location because you can go into Leeds or you can go into Harrogate, you can do nice country walks, it's just lovely. So we're gonna go into the cabin sauna now. Here we go. Um, it's also very quiet because it's only 10 a.m. So it's quite nice. We've kind of just got the whole outside to ourselves, which is lovely. Um, oh, it smells nice in here. So I probably will leave my camera outside because these cameras are terrible. But here we go. Okay, we are back in the room after breakfast and spa and we've just had a quick freshen up. It's now 10 past 11 so we can check out at 12 which is a really good time to check out because you actually get the morning which I really like. Um, but we are going to go for a walk before we drive back. I think it's going to be about four and a half hour drive, maybe five if there's traffic. Um, so we wanted to get going like quite promptly this morning. So we're gonna go for a nice walk around the grounds, get some fresh air, get some steps in, and then head back home. So my outfit for walking slash traveling is my Celine sports bra, just for comfort, this little crop top. Then I've got my, actually, let me turn you around, show you in the mirror because I can't really see. So I've got my Celine crop top, um, Adenola leggings, as always, and then my Chanel, oh, my Chanel trainers on. Um, and then I've got this little zip up top, which I need to do up. I just haven't done it up yet because I'm really hot. But it's from USA Pro, and it's this really tightly fitted jacket. Let me do it up. Honestly, it is incredible. Like, look at that. I absolutely love it. I'm going to try and find it online and link it below because this is just such a gorgeous gym outfit or even just like running errands. I think I've got dry shampoo on my leggings. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is my base look for the day. And then I also have got my sweatshirt from What The Brand that I've been wearing the tracksuit of um, just to chuck on in case it's cold. And then when we're in the car, I probably might take this one off and put this one on instead because it's a bit comfier. And then my bomber jacket. And that's actually all I brought with me to um, wear this trip. I feel like I've been very good at, I need, the only thing I would say about this place is there's not many areas to put my camera down. <laughs> because I feel like it's a bit weird in the bathroom. Um, this mirror's great for looking at the back of your hair. Do you want to look at it? <laughs> no. It's amazing. Why is that such a mum thing to look at the back of your hair with a small mirror? That is such a mum thing. Know. Um, yeah, I feel like the 
uh, clothes that I brought with me this trip have been so perfect. I've worn everything and everything has been exactly what I want to wear as well. You know when you kind of get in those moods where you're like, actually, I brought all these clothes and I don't want to wear any of them. I feel like I've done really well. So a tracksuit, a gym outfit like this, a swimsuit, pyjamas and a nice outfit for the evening. And that's literally all I brought and it was perfect. So if you are coming here or for a spa break, that is what I would recommend. Obviously, depending on if you're going out into town, like if we were staying another night and we maybe went into Leeds today, I probably would have brought some more shoes or something to go with my second outfit. But anyway, I'm just rambling. So we're gonna go to checkout and <laughs> bye. <laughs> We have just been wandering around the grounds of the hotel and I thought I would show you. So we're just by the um, golf course, which is all the way over here. And then behind, there's a pub. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to get out the <laughs> Behind, I think it looked like you were trying to get in the shot. I, and trying, I went over there and you went over there. Um, and then behind us is the pub. There's a pub and lodges and the kitchen garden and um, like an outdoor swimming pool. It's very cute, I think it'll be so nice in summer. But look how incredible the old part of the hotel looks as you're walking up here. So this is the golf course all down here. And down there, there's a gorgeous lake just down there which you can't really see in shot. But yeah, this is the front of the house that you would have seen at the beginning when we arrived. Um, when we drove up here. You also may remember this from my vlog when I came with Georgia and all the girls for the Astrid and Miu campaign that we were shooting. Um, me and Georgia came out here for a walk to get some fresh air and yeah I think I'm pretty sure I did a clip of outside the front of this but it's just incredible and then all the way back there I think they're doing a bit of work on that part of the building and then all the way back there, that white building, is all of the spa. So, absolutely stunning. We can actually walk this way if you want to. Yeah. 